she ain't got no money in the bank. going on guys, Jack95 Gamer here and we're back with episode 39 of our West Ham United career mode. Thank you so much for supporting last episode, I didn't upload over the weekend because I was busy doing stuff, but I really do appreciate the support the video got and you know, it, it definitely, I come back on this Monday morning feeling very refreshed and ready to make a video today, so it's always nice having a little break even if it's not expected, but you know, when you come back it makes you appreciate doing YouTube a lot more and you're in for a treat for this episode, I'm telling you right now. Wolfsburg, West Ham United. It's a game pretty much to to help get an advantage on a team that wants to get second place. You know, whoever wins this is probably going to get second place in all honesty, but great side. Carlos Backer, Kevin De Bruyne, Scherler, Vera Reina, Luis Gustavo, Hunt, Nuk, uh, Naldo, Rodriguez, Jung, and obviously Ben Lagio in net. It's a very good Wolfsburg side, and they get onto the ball here, and they get right on the attack with Rod Rodriguez, who does play the ball in it to Schurler, who produces a really good save there from Kraft, who um, is starting to settle in at West Ham now, like I said, and he's looking like a good player for us, as Noble would pick out Chiku Kayute, Kayute would get under the turn and find Henderson, Henderson does really well as he puts the ball across goal, and we are inches away from going 1-0 up there, but great defending from uh, Wolfsburg would stop Mark Noble getting onto that ball and getting a certain goal, but as you can see, the ball comes over the top here, Remy does get dragged down, the referee points straight to the spot, West Ham do win a penalty, 22 minutes into the game, it is going to be Captain Fantastic, it's going to step up Mark Noble to put this game one one new up for us. What can he do? It's Mark Noble versus Benaglio. Can he find the back of the net here? It's Mark Noble stepping up here. What a save there from the Switzerland goalkeeper. The game still remains at 0-0 thanks to him. What a save that was. It's Bellerin does find Jordan Henderson. Henderson would play the Spaniard back down that right-hand side. He's got the pace to hurt Wolfsburg here. He crossed the ball in with a naughty, naughty low, low cross, but Fikir's shot would be saved and it was offside in the end anyway. As Rodriguez now would pick up Kevin De Bruyne. This game has been back and forth, back and forth. Rodriguez plays it back into Verena. Verena would find Hunt with the gaping shot there, but he just couldn't find the back of the net. As Luke Remy comes on the attack now, he's looking very dangerous this season as he tries to penetrate that defence. He does play it into Simone Zaza. Zaza cuts inside here, falls the whole defence, but again, Benaglio is putting off some fantastic saves here. The goalkeepers have been in fantastic form, but in right at the end of the first half, De Bruyne would get onto the ball. He would play a great win to backer. Again, denied by Kraft and Bellerin would get the ball away. This game has been incredible. And right at the end of the half, if that wasn't all you could handle, Henderson gets into the ball. He plays a fantastic football to Simone Zaza. That should have been 1 0 to the Hammers there. I don't know how the game is still at 0 0. Going to the second half though, Wolfsburg now on the attack. Perisic would find backer. Backer back to Perisic. He would find the Bruin off the post. And that's the closest anyone's come all day to find the back of the net there. As you can see though, Noble gets onto the ball. Links up very well with Jordan Henderson. Henderson gets away from his man here. What can he do? Cross it all the way in. He would find Remy. Good save again from the goalkeeper. Both goalkeepers have been incredible like I've said here. Gustavo gets on the ball. Mark Noble misses the header to controls it. Goes to get it. And controversially, the referee points to the spot. What do you guys think? Was that a penalty? I think Noble was just going to get the ball. No one honestly, but... Referee's pointing straight to the spot, and Andre Schurr does step up. Kraft goes right way, but the post helps see the ball into the back of net, just beyond his reach there. With 15 minutes left to go into this game, Wolfsburg have the lead, and I'd say that at the moment, both teams deserve to be drawing, but we just have to wait and see. But as you can see here, they are celebrating. We do go to make some substitutes now. And as you can see, we do bring on Sacco, Bahuli, and Noble does come off for Richardly Bazaar to try and make something work for us here. But again, the attack will still come from Wolfsburg as Perisic gets onto the ball. He does really well here to lose uh, Cresswell. Perisic crosses it all the way to the back of the net to find Backer, who finds Schurler. Kraft makes a good save there, but we do win a free kick with just seven minutes remaining into the game. We was looking to put it on Fabian Schaub, but Henderson steps up and said, and take a Bow, Jordan Henderson. West Ham get back on terms through the Englishman. What a free kick that was from him, you know. This game has not disappointed, you know, today. And it just proves it there yet again. What a hit, son. That is brilliant. You just get no better than that. That straight into the top corner. Benaglio, no chance. Jordan Henderson gets his first goal in the Champions Cup. And what a way to get West Ham back on terms. And we get to the ninth minute and it's time for one more attack. As Sacco would find Loic Remy. Remy gets past his man. Puts the ball over the top. Sacco hits him offside but he does stay on side. It falls to Loic Remy with the volley. But unfortunately can't keep his shot down. And the game does finish at 1-1. What a well-deserved result. you know. I, I think that's the most deserved draw I could ever see happening this season. Back and forth. And the team's putting a great show at Upland Park here today. One of the best most entertaining games I've seen in the Champions Cup in a while. As you can see, we had 14 shots. They had seven. Possession was even. And it looks like West Ham are getting back onto form now. And hopefully we can replicate that in the Barclays Premier League. Because, obviously, we've been suffering for form, you know, recently. 
in the BPL and we need to definitely get ourselves back on track but very good to side our Wolfsburg and Pelagio did definitely deserve man of match there. But as you can see, that draw plus a point still ahead of Wolfsburg. Four games played, we've got two games left. We've got Real Madrid and Bruges still left to play here. So three points is basically the ultimate goal for us this um, in the next couple, next couple of games here. But as you can see, Simone Zaza, congratulations to him. He did win Player of the Month. And he looked good this season, he, um, this month, you know. He found the back of that, he found four man. No, he deserved it. But we're going to a game here against Southampton. Wilson Maiga do make the bench, among other names. Grimando Reed, more Fabinho would make the uh, back four. Amati Bazara, Bahuli Gonzalez, Sacco and Zaza make the attack. A very young midfield, but midfield that I feel is capable of doing the job. No, again, it is actually a, a rather young. I believe the oldest player in that midfield is 22 years old, which is just crazy when you think about it. But we're going to Southampton, a very difficult stadium to go to. And we're hoping that the team can put in a job here. But Southampton's got a great side. You know, Klein, Gardos, Yosida, Bertrand, Wenyama, Schneidlin, Isgro, Rodriguez, Ramirez, and Shane Long do make up the side there. Um, some big names on the bench also. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a win in this one. I really am. But Bahuli gets onto the ball here. He would find Diafara Sacco. Sacco does really well here to cut inside of his man. Completely falls him. Gets the shot away. But it's a scuffed effort. And Forster would collect that with no ease. At, well, no problem. Um whatsoever but Gaston would like a free kick from range here it's a tame effort right into the hands of Kraft there that was a wasted free kick on Southampton's point of view but they come on the attack again we will win the ball back though and Bazoa puts the ball through it rips apart the whole defence it's the first second from goal sure it's going to be 1-0 but what a change that is from Klein that was certain to be 1-0 there but the right back coming with a great challenge just in the nick of time but Sacco again gets played in and Southampton's defence looks to fall apart here it's Diafara Sacco what can he do cuts inside plays it into Bahuli and that is off the line I do believe from Bertrand there what defending this is from Southampton. They're playing so well as Bahuli gets off the ball again. Puts the ball over the top. He would find Sacco. Sacco shoots off the line again. Forster with a great save. And uh, West Ham definitely feel they should be like 2 0 up in this one. But Sacco would play in Gonzalez. Gonzalez gets blocked. Forced to Sacco again. Great save there from Forster from the snapshot there from DFR Sacco. We do bring on James Wilson. We also bring on uh, Milford Tano, I do believe. And the next player we do bring on is Toliso for Richelli Bazaar. But it would be the Saints with the last attack of the game here. We try and get the ball away on the counter attack. Rashida would win it. He tries to pump it into the box. And it does fall into the hands of Kraft there. A very boring second half. A very boring game. And that is so frustrating. After the first game of the episode, we thought we'd be in for an absolute treat at St Mary's but it was anything but that it was a disappointing game and the game does finish at 0-0 a point share between both sides there absolutely diabolical game for shooting and um, we need to bounce back next episode you know a very poor display from both teams at St Mary's today probably one of the most boring games probably on the weekend but as you can see Kraft does pick up Man of Match with a 7.8 rating and he does get the uh, clean sheet and Man of Match award which is good to see but anyway guys that is going to bring it into this episode I'm going to leave you looking at the squad report if you did enjoy the video make sure to smash that like button I'd really really appreciate it if you're new around here and you haven't already then why not hit that subscribe button too guys it is free and you'll never miss a career mode, career mode video of me ever again as always I hope you have a really nice day enjoy your weeks guys it's going to be lovely weather hopefully and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.